with T quotes and I'm here to do a quote block today first I want to do a brief announcement I have established a PO box so if you are interested in contacting me please check the description box down below I obtained the PO box on January 24th and I've had it in my last two videos that I uploaded last Wednesday but you probably missed it but I do just want to make that announcement so if you're interested in sending me a card or something that you want me to share with the viewers I would be more than happy to do so today I'm doing a quote block titled ladies aid and it's from the ladies art company and I will show you a picture of it here so I kind of like it because it looks like it's those are arrows pointed and when you do a complete quilt it might look like it's going all kinds of ways I think it makes a nice pattern when it's put together so I am going to give the instructions here I am just going to verbally tell you what these instructions are because I am going to give you a link in the description field to a place on my website where you can go and download this instruction sheet and I also have fabric requirements for 12 blocks and a two border quilt that measures 48 by 56 so if you want to make it twice as big you will just double up your fabric requirements so let me tilt you down and show you what's needed I'm working from my desktop today because I have my mosaic blocks on my design wall and I don't have my other design wall unpacked yet so what's needed for this block is actually three fabrics I have two of them showing here from your two fabrics that make your arrow you are going to cut the exact same thing you're going to cut one six and seven eighths inch square and then you're going to cut it diagonally I did it on this print as well as that one from both of those prints you're also going to need one square cut two and seven eighths inches cut once diagonally and again you're going to end up with half square triangles in addition with these same two fabrics you're going to cut two squares from each fabric and they're both three and three eighths inches square and then my background fabric I'm actually using this yellow here and how I got this piece is I cut two five and one quarter inch squares and then I have my other pieces here for my other four but I cut two five and one quarter inch squares and then I cut them twice diagonally to give me my eight pieces I'm just going to lay out one side of this block so that you can see what happens So here is one quarter of my block laid out. So the first thing that I want to do is use this square in the middle, the three and three eighths inch square. I want to flip my quarter square triangles on top. So one quarter of an inch seam, flip that over and do the same thing over here. So one quarter inch seam. So I'm going to do that to all four of my segments and I will come right back. I have my center section sewn. I sewed my two quarter square triangles onto the sides of a square. And so next I want to take my two and seven eighth inch half square triangle and sew that onto the corner here. Please note that my triangles have the points cut off because I die cut these with my studio die cutting system. I did the same thing with my six and seven eighth inch square. I actually cut it with the die cutter so that's why I don't have points but you would have points and so if for me I can just line this up 
and my two edges will align to let me know where to put this. Since you don't have points that are going to end exactly in this position, you want to fold your triangle in half, right sides together, and then if you fold your other square in half on the square marks with the right side out, so wrong sides together, when you put that down, these two will nest right where that little fold is. So that's how you can know that you're completely centered when you sew that. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that seam. And I have already done that on the other unit just so that I could keep this portion of the video going. So I have taken my rotary cutter and gotten rid of my dog ears. I could have also used my Ginger thread snips, but since my rotary cutter is laying there, I'm using that. And so then the final step is to sew this unit to the larger half square triangle. So then we'll do that, do a quarter inch seam, and you'll end up with a unit that looks like this. So now we have our one quarter of the block done. I'm going to go ahead and do the remaining blocks. And I will come back with my four quarters. I'm back with my quarters sewn. And I did go ahead and press them with a heated iron at this point. And I forgot to take off some dog ears right here. So I'll get those off. But otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and sew this into a giant four patch. And then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back with my completed block unit. And I'm hoping that you can see it all in the frame here. I'll try to get a picture somewhere else and add it at the end of this video so you can see a full shot of it. But I'd like to thank you for watching. And hopefully you will try this block out. Also, don't forget that I have the full instructions over on my website and the link is in the description box and i'll see you next time bye bye